Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. My name is Mark Plant, and this is MBV Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, thanks for coming in. Please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll get notifications anytime I put up a new video. Uh, well, I'm heading to work. Bad enough that it's dark, but we got a rainstorm coming. What, actually happening, not coming, happening. Uh, it's going to be a miserable ride to work, but got to do what I got to do. Uh, like I had in yesterday's video, I failed. We have an Eco Depot thing coming up. Uh, I got to take apart some cute computers. Didn't have the keyboard to work and a mouse didn't work. So I got to borrow some of those, one of each of those from work today and hopefully get that done tonight. In any case, I'm heading into work right now. Here's the dash cam if the GoPro is working. Hopefully it is. And I'll get with you guys soon. me to head home uh miserable day today yeah it's one of those type of days feels like it's mid to end of november uh, but it's coming it's coming we're supposed to get maybe some wet snow on friday yuck uh, but in any case uh i'm heading home i got work on the computers i got the keyboard i got the mouse so should be all set now should be able to dismantle those computers tonight hopefully uh, I'll get with you on that. Uh, let's head home. Serial keyboard. These are old. I don't think there are any, any keyboards or mice that use these anymore. But this should work on my old HP computer. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I click the card up here on the top. This is from yesterday's video where I'm trying to get rid of some old computers. So. We're going to plug these things in and let's see if it works. All right, so this is the back of the HP computer. Let's bring in here. Okay, so we have the mouse port and the keyboard port here. So let's plug this puppy in. We are going to plug that in right over here. Let's plug our power source in. It's a VGA connection. Yeah, you know, these aren't used anymore either. So slide that in. I am crossing my fingers and hoping this works. Let's turn the power on. This does take a really long time to boot up here. Let's see the floppy drive will kick on first. And then the CD will kick on. I'm hoping this works. Please get power into the keyboard. Oh, that actually booted up fairly quick there. Please work. Please work. Okay, through the default configuration, so we're going to press F2 to resume. 
See if this thing boots up. Windows 98. Yeah, this is an old computer. I'm not even sure whether it's connecting with the hard drive. So yeah, no indication on the light here. And all the other functions are working. To me it sounds like the hard drive is it's not even spinning. Okay, it's been sitting for about five minutes now. Let's try. I'm going to try rebooting it. Let's see what happens. Let's restart it. The hard drive is spinning there. I can hear it spin. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I go to setup. Old memory. 320 megabytes. Windows 98 it's supposed to be. Okay, yep, I got Windows 98. This has, wow, 512 kilobytes of RAM. Exit saving. Save configuration and exit now. Try that. The hard drive is moving. I'm assuming it's going to a new boot. There we go. Okay, I think I'm just wasting my time here. Uh, let me shut this down. I'm going to open up the case. And it's going to be disgusting in there. I'm telling you that right now. So, let's see what's inside. One thing I like with this case, it was easy to get in and out of. Like I said, I added a sound card to this. I added a... This, like I said, it was my first baby. So, I was trying to take off the wrong side there. So, we got two screws here. And take out with your fingers. Actually, they don't even come out. That's right. Okay, so just loosen them. They stay in there so you can't lose them. And that pops off. Oh, there we go. Actually, to tell you the truth, it's not that dirty in there. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it is. Okay, these are the two DV, uh, CD drives. No DVD on this. Even with it unplugged, you don't want to go touching in there because it's still got it's got a battery. I'm looking. See if there's anything obvious. Blow some air in here. Okay, so that's a sound card. That is my video card. This one down here is the internet. This down here is printer. Okay, my hard drive is up here. That's a floppy drive is here. That's my hard drive which is pretty dirty. Alright, so let's boot this up. Okay, floppy drive just booted. CD drive is booting. And you get an error. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run for about 10 minutes. See if it does anything. Alright, so this doesn't seem to be working. So what I'm going to try doing, and I've never done this before, so it's going to be an experiment, is I am going to, I'm going to pull the hard drive right out of this. And I'm going to see maybe if I can clean it with it will work. So, if I destroy it, it's dead anyway, so it's not going to work. So, let's power this thing off. So, this is the hard drive right here. First thing I'm going to do, let's see if these come unplugged, because they're old. That's not working. Oh, that's really in there. This. little bit more light here. There we go. Alright, so this cable comes out. This ribbon. Okay. Let's see if it's easier if I take these screws out. 
don't think that's attached anywhere else, but of course it is. How the hell did I get that thing out? Alright, so there's screws on the other side. Let me move that. Alright everyone, I've been at this machine now for over two hours and I can't get it to boot. I pulled everything out, so I'm going to try one other thing. I'm going to trash these other computers anyway. I'm going to try to set this up as... I'm going to pull the hard drive out of this and set it up as a slave on one of the other machines. And let's see if that'll work. It's my only hope. My only hope. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work. I, I, to be honest, I'm doubtful it's going to work, but let's do that. Because if I hit anything on here, I don't know whether you can see the screen behind it. It's going to go black with a cursor. So that means it's not reading the hard drive. So this is trash. But let me see if I can pull the hard drive in, hook it up on the other one. So let's shut this down. Let's disconnect the power. I don't feel it like going up like a Christmas tree. Okay, give myself a room over here. Side. Actually, disconnect the power from here and disconnect the ribbon cable. I have to disconnect the power to the DVD drives, or actually, these are CD drives. see there I'm in the way let's see if this you know what hold on a second I'm gonna use a feature on this tripod let's see if this works I'll be right back with it. okay so I gotta take this out this is the hard drive these can come out doesn't matter if they're plugged in anymore So this is the back of the two CD players. That's my hard drive. So get my Phillips head here. not been this whole process has not been easy so I gotta take out these two screws here there we go okay there's my hard drive I try to use this on a slave on one of the other computers I'm not sure it's gonna work I doubt it's gonna work but in. Alright, so I'm going to package everything in here since we're going to just throw this away anyway. We'll save the screws because you know you use screws. So let's go back to putting the HP back together. Alright, so there's our box. together so this is going to the boneyard okay so what I got here is I got my gateway 
I haven't opened this thing up in a long time, so I'm not really sure what we have here, but like I said, if it doesn't work, I'm throwing it out anyway. So, it's got two screws on the back. Pop this open. Slide. Nope. Comes out like that. Alright. Can I do this? I do have a slot here. Underneath. Where is my hard drive on this thing? Let's see. This puffy up here. These computers, you don't got much room. Oops. That's going to be loose in there, but if I can get the data off of it, I don't care. Okay. Oh, let's see if I get lucky here. I got a light on the motherboard. Let's cross our fingers on this one. Let's bring it over here. Yeah, you should be able to see the screen there. And let's power on. Windows 98. I think I might be trying to boot from that. Yep. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to have to go in the CMOS. So, let's. There we go. All right, so I got to change how it boots up. So, I think I have to add a second hard drive to this. There we go. All right, so now it's booting on the gateway. This is the one that I want. This is probably going to take a couple of minutes. This way I can definitely tell whether that hard drive is fried. If it is fried, then I'll just toss it. I'm kind of hoping that it isn't because I think that there are files on there. Really old files. So, if I remember correctly, I believe this had Windows NT on it. Oh, Windows Vista, that's right. Okay, so, so far so good. Let's go explore. See if it finds that hard drive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might have. I might have. Okay, so I can see it. That's actually good. Yes. Yes. It sees it as drive E. Oh, yeah. It worked. Alright, I don't know whether I want to restock here. Holy mackerel. This, this is how old... Let's see if I can get. I have America Online on here. Internet Explorer 4 is on this drive. Wow. Alright, I gotta restart the computer. I don't know whether I want to do that. Let's restart. Alright, let's reboot. Let's cross our fingers. Alright, I'm very happy right now, I think. I'm going to let this do its update, and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Hopefully I can find something that was... I'm just impressed seeing the America Online Prodigy and all of that stuff to connect. Wow. So, Alright, I'll get back, be with you in a few minutes. Alright, everyone shutting down the Windows machine right now. 
and play with it a little bit more. Uh, didn't have anything on that hard drive. So basically I wasted the whole night trying to get everything off that hard drive. But this machine is actually running pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to save this one. Just for the fact of my daughter will be coming home from college for Thanksgiving and she needs a Windows machine. So this will be a good backup for her. Um, I need to do some things on Windows also. So let's see if I can upgrade this thing if it's worth it. Uh, yeah, I'm looking May 20th, 2000, yeah, May 20th, 2012 was the last time I used this computer. So it's a little old. Actually, if you think about it, it's this one and this one, the iMac, are about the same age. So I must have backed this thing up when I bought that iMac. So that's... That was quite a while ago, but anyway, I'll play around with it a little bit more. I got to get some monitors and everything all set up to go, but at least I got this running. I got the hard drive on it. At least I know there's nothing on it now. All right. Thanks everyone for coming. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you already subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it. Hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. And you'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. I'll be back again real soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone.